ready to wear or pet a porte, high street, haute couture is some of the fashion lingos highly utilized by all walks of life in this country, especially with the emergence of numerous fashion weeks, especially in our capital. Whilst we adopt and carry out the trends and business of fashion from the European continent, spilling the creativity and designs of Paris, London, Milan, the major fashion cities of four seasons on our tropical fashion street like Jalan Bukit Bintang and Jalan Telawi, little did we realise that clothing is more than just the ability to stay in parallel and ahead of the fashion trends. It is more about wearability, functionality and comfort for the wearer. Realizing the importance and the balance of marketability and demographics in this country, Tradisi Busana PR, a local fashion agency that offers public relations services for fashion and creating fresh production for fashion show, has come together with Aeon to produce a unique fashion week that caters to the needs and wants of Malaysians and other Muslim countries alike. Dodi Mohasdi Haji Muhammad, the brain behind the Kuala Lumpur Raya Fashion Week, who has served many years in London as well as play publicist to high-end fashion persona like Jimmy Choo and consultant to La Perla, he said that it is now time that Malaysia regulate the relevant fashion season for our people instead of looking outward. Uh, basically, it is our own initial idea, Raya Fashion Week. Uh, so we were having the support from Aeon as our presenter for the Fashion Week. The thing is, we came up with the concept because we feel that this is the most relevant season for our designers. We like it or not, small or big, uh, Malaysian designers, they, they would have a right collection, but they wouldn't have, not all of them will have autumn, winter or spring, summer collections, but they would have bright collection, you know, as I said, small or big, famous or non-famous. So we feel that it's about time that we regulate it into a system. So just like any other fashion weeks, international fashion weeks, and maybe this could be expanded as well outside of Malaysia. At the moment, of course, we're starting in Malaysia, but maybe we're going to go to maybe Jakarta or other countries that celebrate uh, High Raya. So, um, so it becomes like a circuit on its own rather than just you know, London, New York, Paris, Milan. You know? So maybe we can do our own civil circuit for the, Malays and for the Islamic countries. My many years in London, you know, I now I'm sort of exploring Tokyo. So I have seen how things work, and I don't. I, I always believe in looking inward rather than looking outward. You know, so we have to look at what we have in Malaysia, how we can harness it, make it better. So uh, that's how we came up with this. Rather than doing spring, summer, autumn, winter, let's do Raya because that's that's us. You know, and you never know, we could we could export it to other countries too. This kind of concept. The Trade Performance Centre for Textile in Malaysia has blossomed healthily for the past few years with the emergence of the Fashion Weeks in Malaysia. According to the Malaysian Textile and Apparel Centre from the Department of Statistics Malaysia, the overall apparel import has been decreased from January 2014 to March 2014. Aside from boosting the textile and apparel trade performance, these all-around fashion festivities contribute positively to the growth of the tourism industry. I believe with more uh, what they call it, attractive fashion design, it will attract a lot of visit visitors to the country, particularly when such design appeals uh, to the international tourists. And more and more tourists, especially from the region, uh, based from uh, the media exposure, and also through the internet and uh, all uh, the online activity, I think uh, we could receive quite a number of tourists coming here uh, for the fashion. For retail giant like Aeon, this concept of Fashion Week brings a lot of goodness to the company in promoting good value for money for all. We want to 
public to know that our collection is actually very affordable, very good quality, and uh, it is a whole range of collection suitable for the whole family. So I, I want I want uh, people to know, our customers to know that uh, Eon is actually giving a very good quality of product with value for money. For Datuk Radzwan Radziwil, a face and name that is no longer a stranger to the industry, he too has embarked on the pret porte wagon to stay in the game. Producing for the mass has its own perks and disadvantages. Okay, uh, since last year, we did the first collaboration with them and then the collections like uh, very traditional, contemporary traditional last year and then sold out. So lucky this year they uh, offer me again to do creation for them. Actually, um, a bit tough also to doing because the price is really down. We are selling like 200, 180, 250s and all those things. So you have to be really smart in business to do it, you know, because the price is very low. Because we have to tackle the branding, because our, our fabric has to be good, womanship also has to be good, the trimming and all those things. So um, we need to have a very good factory to do it. So always a good factory, the price is a bit expensive, you know. Like Radzwan, the KL Royal Fashion Week is a blessing for local designers to showcase their most relevant collection that is according to festivities rather than putting much effort into producing winter clothing just to conform to Four Seasons fashion outlook. You know, actually for the Asian market, definitely we follow the festival. Because when Hari Raya is considered, like, wow, spring summer for Hari Raya and all those things, you know. So end of the year, like Christmas and Deepa Bali, whatever, or Chinese New Year, we do it for all those, I mean, like winter clothes or whatever. But of course, for, for Malaysian and Asian and all those things, like Brunei, Indonesian and all those things, when the festive season is considered a new collection, it's like what Dodi doing today, like um, spring summer, uh, we, we put it for, for like uh, Hari Raya or, or Chinese New Year, you know. Because for European, the, uh, the, we cannot cope up with the uh, winters and those kind of uh, uh, autumn clothes because we are not good on that. Our fabrication is also not that standard, you know, because we need a wool and all those things. And then our production also here. We are a little bit like a uh, problem with all those winter clothes like jacket, suit, uh, the coat and all those things. But well, lucky we're doing all this ready to work concept. So uh, I think for Asian, definitely we just follow the festive season. Hari Raya, Chinese New Year, or Diva Bali, or you know. And then for European, of course, we have to follow the spring summer collection and all the yeah. For other fashion players and personas like Bon Zainal, whose crusade is going the extra miles to support the local fashion industry, the shift in fashion trends from the typical four seasons to the Asian's all-year-round fashion season proves the fact that Malaysia is now standing in the eyes of the world as one of the notable movers and shakers for the fashion industry. First thing, first and foremost, our machine is super. Um, I think we we are rich of this uh, pretty detailed work and all that. Yeah, I mean, like even for Datuk Razwan, R&R, &R, uh, to me, I I never wear like floral shirt, but I wear his shirt, you know, and I'm proud of it. Yeah? And in terms of the, the shift too, yes, uh, um, watch out. Okay, we are, we are interested into this. In fact, Datuk is going abroad and all that. Yeah? And uh, again, formulation by local product. You know, I think uh, we we the one should support here. And, and then, like I've, been, like, I've been talking, I've been telling, like, our problem is we are lack of numbers. Uh, our, our our population, eh? but again, it's, it's good to go abroad. And yes, for us, it's easier because we go for all season. Uh, we don't have to think about spring, summer, and all that. So, um, hey, why not? In fact, in fact, on my part, I'm excited as well. You know, what I mean, being in the industry, so hey, we should we, we should do this. And uh, at least now we are being recognized. We are being seen outside as a uh, uh, fashion uh, movers and shakers. I think uh, throughout the the the, the world. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter if you think fashion is fluff or a way of life. With the rise of today's advanced technology and fresh creativity from a seasoned or upcoming designer in designing clothing for us, what's more vital is upholding the culture of the nation and embed it into each and every canvas of art called the Malaysian fashion. Most of the thing outside, abroad, all the garment, I can tell you 60% is made here. So remember that. 